Welcome to Millimeter Wave in Robotics, how Millimeter Wave enables robots to sense and avoid. In this first portion of the training, we'll be looking at Millimeter Wave sensing in robotics to understand how robots see using Millimeter Wave. We'll start with a Millimeter Wave overview and how Millimeter Wave is differentiated in the market compared to other sensor technologies. Next, we'll look at how to visualize what radar can see using the TI Millimeter Wave Demo Visualizer as well as the ROS, or Robot OS, Point Cloud Visualizer Lab on the TI Resource Explorer. Next, we'll see an autonomous robot demonstration, which uses Robot OS, in addition to the TI IWR 1443 millimeter wave sensor. Our goal in using millimeter wave in robotics was to enable robust, high accuracy sensing for autonomous robotics. TI has come up with a solution in the form of an IWR1443 and IWR1642, which are single chip, fully integrated millimeter wave sensing devices that incorporate the full signal processing chain in the sensor. The full source code in the form of the millimeter wave SDK software from TI is also available for customers to modify and get to market faster. Key components in the system include the sensor itself, a power management IC or PMIC from TI, as well as the Robot OS or ROS open source software platform. The next steps to evaluate the solution for yourself would be to follow the setup guide in the Autonomous Robotics with ROS for Millimeter Wave Lab on the TI Resource Explorer, which demonstrates using the IWR 1443 millimeter wave sensor on the Robot OS TurtleBot 2 platform. The link to this lab is in the customer collateral slide near the end. While there are other sensor types in the market, millimeter wave technology is uniquely equipped to solve challenges faced by the robotics community in creating truly autonomous robots. Millimeter wave can detect both velocity and position of objects in the environment to enable more intelligent decisions, for example, stopping faster if an object is approaching more quickly, and also allowing for background subtraction and movement classification. Second, millimeter wave is unaffected by env environmental conditions that are typical in industrial and outdoor environments such as dust, fog, temperature, humidity, and bright light. This allows for scalability indoors and outdoors. Third, millimeter wave can detect transparent materials like glass that would typically not be detected by optical-based systems. Lastly, TI's single-chip millimeter wave sensors also integrate powerful processing cores which enable customers to implement novel algorithms such as ground speed detection to avoid location or speed drift and edge detection to avoid tumbling off of drops. TI provides multiple ways for customers to visualize what millimeter wave radar data looks like. The first of these is the millimeter wave demo visualizer, which is a visualization tool for the millimeter wave SDK out of box demo. The link to this tool can be found in the customer collateral slide later in the presentation. When a millimeter wave sensor EVM from TI is connected to a PC via USB and the EVM is running the millimeter wave SDK out of box demo, this visualization tool can be used to configure the device as well as visualize the output data coming from the device. After you go to the tool, the Configure tab is used to select and trade off desired parameters and sensing capabilities. The different types of parameters include number of TX and RX antennas used, which determines whether a two-dimensional or three-dimensional configuration is used with IWR 1443, frequency range or band, frame rate, which is the number of frames per second of data you receive, range resolution, which is the minimum distance in range between two objects at which they can still be resolved as two separate objects. If the two objects are any closer together to each other, then they appear as a single object. Maximum range, radial velocity resolution, which applies when two objects are too close together to be resolved based on location, whereas if they have different velocities, they can still be resolved by the radar. The radial velocity resolution is the minimum difference in velocity between the two objects that must be present in order for them to be resolved as two separate objects. 
as well as max radial velocity. Object detection options, which include peak grouping, where different peaks in the data coming from the same object can be grouped in either the range or distance from the sensor direction, as well as the Doppler or velocity direction, as well as additional algorithm processing like removing static clutter removal and range detection threshold, which determines how strong or intense a reflection must be to be considered a detected object. Plot selection is also available to select scatter plots, range profiles, noise profile, range azimuth heat map, range Doppler heat map, and statistics. Once the device is configured by clicking on the button to send the config to the millimeter wave device, the various plots selected can be viewed by clicking on the plots tab. As shown in the left figure, a two-dimensional scatter plot is shown in the upper left when a two-dimensional configuration has been used to configure the device. A three-dimensional scatter plot, as shown in the right figure, is visible if a three-dimensional configuration was used on a device like the IWR 1443. Additional plots uh, are the range profile plot, Doppler range plot, as well as the statistics plot shown in the figure, and other types of plots like range azimuth heat map, range Doppler heat map, and noise profile. Please note that some of the plots like the heat maps require more post-processing and thus the frame rate or frames per second must be lowered to allow them to be efficiently processed and displayed on the PC. A video demonstrating how to use the millimeter wave demo visualizer can be found at the link in the customer collateral section near the end. A second way that TI provides for customers to visualize what millimeter wave radar data looks like is the ROS or Robot OS Point Cloud Visualizer Lab on the TI Resource Explorer. The link to this lab is found in the customer collateral section near the end. This lab requires the millimeter wave SDK out of box demo running on a millimeter wave EVM so that the detected object info is sent via the UART over USB, similar to the way the millimeter wave demo visualizer is used. However, as opposed to a Windows PC, the lab requires Robot OS running on a Linux PC or virtual machine. The ROS millimeter wave driver included in the lab converts detected object data from the sensor into a point cloud format used by Robot OS. The popular ROS visualizer tool, RViz, can be used to display the points as shown in the figure on the right. The figure on the right is a top-down view of a three-dimensional configuration using the IWR 1443. As you can see, objects designated by the two persons uh, highlighted in circles show up as clusters of points. We get more points to display by reducing the object detection threshold as well as disabling peak grouping in the default configuration used in this lab. This increases the number of points seen and allows you to actually visually see people as they walk in front of the radar sensor. The color of the points can be used to represent either elevation in the case of a three-dimensional configuration or intensity. Also, RViz view can easily be changed with a mouse by zooming panning or tilting the view. This allows you to rotate the view to see it from different angles, which is very helpful for visualizing different types of objects or scenes. A link to a video demonstrating the ROS Point Cloud Visualizer Lab can be found in the Customer Collateral section near the end. An example of integrating a TI millimeter wave sensor is given in the Autonomous Robotics with ROS for Millimeter Wave Lab on the TI Resource Explorer. This lab integrates the TI millimeter wave ROS driver provided in the visualization lab into the ROS TurtleBot 2 platform to allow the TI IWR 1443 Boost EVM to be used as a 3D sensor for the robot. 
The lab demonstrates mapping using the TI millimeter wave sensor with the ROS Octomap package, as well as navigation with collision avoidance using the millimeter wave sensor with the ROS Move Base package. This accelerates customer evaluation by allowing immediate usage with the standard Robot OS robotic platform, as well as providing customers an example of using the TI millimeter wave ROS driver with existing ROS navigation packages. The picture in the lower left shows how the millimeter wave sensor EVM is attached to the front of the TurtleBot 2 platform. The TurtleBot 2 platform also requires a controller like a PC or laptop running Robot OS as shown in the center of the robot. A separate PC running Robot OS is used to control the robot remotely and is typically connected over Wi-Fi. The picture at the bottom center shows the TurtleBot 2 platform with the millimeter wave sensor integrated in a scene where the robot is attempting to autonomously travel from one side of the platform to the other. Multiple objects are placed in the robot's way and the robot using robot OS packages and the millimeter wave sensor detects the obstacles in its path and then must pl plot, plot its own path to get to the other side. The obstacles can be arranged randomly and you can place obstacles dynamically in its path as well. In this example we show a water bottle, a glass vase, and a metal travel mug. In the lower right, we show the visualization provided by the ROS Visualizer or RViz tool where the robot itself is shown as a graphic as well as the path that it has calculated to avoid the obstacles in its way to reach the other side. The glass base, water bottle, and metal mug are also pointed out by the different points on the display. The colored spheres represent the live picture at that time where the radar was actively detecting that object and the small white dots are the dots that persist once an object has been detected.